Okay. Guys, if it gets hot, just back up. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Real Simple Cooking School. I'm your teacher, Dawn, and we are doing more amazing grilling, outdoor cooking. It's summertime, thank goodness. I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest grilled appetizer on the planet. It's toast, but there's more to it. I've got my grill set up, it's hot. If you're curious to know how to set it up, there is like a link to that video somewhere on this page, I can promise you. But I've got my grill nice and hot. I've set it up for indirect heat and direct heat. What I have here, it's just a loaf of ciabatta, but honestly, any bread, any sturdy bread will work. Like a baguette will be good. Ciabatta's nice because it's nice and wide. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it lengthwise. So let's review having bread. Non-dominant hand on top. This is gonna keep your bread steady. And then I wanna come down and get level with my knife so I can see where I'm going. Too often you're cutting and you're like, whoa, I've got like a skinny side and a thick side. Get down and make friends with the bread. My knife pretty much stays in the same place and I move the bread around. And then look, I've met right back up with my initial cut. Pretty nicely halved ciabatta. I do want to add a little bit of fat. Olive oil is my choice. Just rub it together so it spreads out nicely and onto the grill. Now, if you watch that how to set up your grill video, you see I have Hot heat here, you can see a little too hot. So we'll scoot that off to the side. <laughs> that happens when fat hits the fire, right? Like if you pour grease on a fire, same idea. So I've just moved it to the indirect side. I can move it around a little bit. And remember, ooh, I've got some, I'm getting some really nice golden color. I'm just gonna turn it. It's just like cooking on a stove. You're just outside, which is very nice. Couple ingredients couple cloves of garlic and all we're gonna do is peel these we want to leave them whole so they're a little bit easier to work with I'm gonna use my hands you could use the side of your chef's knife just to get that skin to peel off really easily I'm gonna leave the little root nubbin on that's gonna give me something to hold on to I'm gonna do two I think that'll be the right number for this and when you rub the garlic on the hot bread, it's just gonna melt and add a ton of flavor. And then I wanna cut some tomatoes. So I'm just gonna have it like through the equator and we'll have a few of these tomatoes so those are ready to go. Let's check the toast. Got my tongs, this one's looking good, I can tell. This looks pretty awesome. So just come on over to my cutting board. I don't mind a little bit of darkness, reminds me we're grilling but right to my cutting board. And then remember, I've got my peeled cloves of garlic. If this is too hot, I'll show you, you can use the tongs, again, as a, an extension of your hand to just hold the bread in place. You could sprinkle this with Parmesan cheese, um, some fresh basil if you're growing it in your backyard. We are growing it in the backyard, so we might put it on. That feels pretty good. Then, Come back with my tomato, and you kind of want to squeeze as you go because there's tons of flavor in here. And then we're just going to rub the tomato all over the top and giving you a squeeze so some of that flesh falls out. Yum. And what's kind of fun is the bread gets like a little soggy as it soaks up the tomato juices in the olive oil. Finishing with just like a little bit of flaky salt and a little bit of pepper. And that is your beautiful grilled toast. Let's slice it up. And this toast is just a great way to get the party started. Ice down some beers, open a cold uh, bottle of wine, and as your coals get ready, you grill up some toast, and then people won't come like worrying the grill while you're trying to do your meats, okay? That is your go-to summer appetizer. Stick around for more Real Simple Cooking School outside on the grill. We'll see you soon.